are we gonna do today? Hmm. Uh-oh. Where is my stuff? Ah. I know it's in here somewhere. Oh, not up there. I've got a bag that I keep this in and I'm not quite sure where I put it last. I, I had it setting on here and then I cleaned it up. I'm thinking maybe it's over here. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, that's right, I remember. I remember. That's where it is. And do I have anything else in here? I don't think so. This is where I keep certain things. Here's my landscaping tube. I think this is quarter inch. And that's what most of the stuff is. And I've got a few different things here. I'm going to make some repairs. And I've got some little ends to cap off. And then I have, I have some bubblers here. One GPH, one gallon per hour pressure. And that's for these little deals here. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, I think, see there's a red one there and I don't know, that might be a two gallon per hour. I think all these other ones are one gallon per hour. And I have some connectors. I didn't really need this many. See, they're, they're, little, they're little connectors like this. It's like a, a coupling that I would call it. And then here's some quarter inch barbed tees. I don't use those very often. And I'm probably not going to use any of those today, but I think mainly it's going to be uh, some stuff down there. Look at this little thing. See, it's got a little tip on there. And I had, my mo mother had one of these at, that I used over at her house and it was metal on the end and you can poke an actual 5 8 inch tube or half inch tube. You poke it in there and then you can hook on uh, the quarter inch tubing. And you, use, you do that by using these little couplings. Poke that in there and then poke the, the, the tube on there and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to need, but that's about all I'm going to need. And I'm going to do some checking here in a minute. And I've got to come across over here and I'm probably going to end up turning this on. We're gonna go, we're gonna go down there. Actually, I guess I could turn this on in a second here, and uh, I, can, I can bypass all this stuff by just pressing this main start advance. And see when I do that, see it says number one is flashing, and I press it again, number two is flashing 10 minutes. Press it again, number five is flashing 15 minutes. And then if I press it again, I can actually have it on station number six, 15 minutes. And those are for my bubblers and my, uh, my drip irrigation. So, and then press it again, and it goes back to what the day is, and it's two o'clock, and it's all set. I've got it on auto and everything. And see, if I just press it once, that means the front sprinklers are going to go on for 10 minutes. And then after, if I just leave it here, it'll automatically go to the second. Now, I don't know, they got one, two, five, and six. What about three and four? They didn't do three and four. They decided to call it five and six. And once it flashes, then you know that water's on right now. So that's, 
that's how we're gonna do that. But I've gotta get my knee pad. Once I get my knee pad, I'll come back in, out here and we'll check that. And I'm gonna go down and check the bubblers and the low pressure uh, sprinkler drip irrigation system. If you wanna check that out, that's what this video is all about. And check this out. I got my, I actually got my nail bag on. <laughs> I just like to use it because um, I'm gonna, I might need a pair of pliers, I might need my cutters, I might need a screwdriver or something, I don't know. Okay, let's see, I don't want the outside sprinklers on, I want uh, not number two, because that's sprinklers too. And you can check that, you know, on, on your uh, timer. Not all timers are created the same, so. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna get out here, and I've got I've got my knee pad there and stuff, and we're gonna we're gonna check this. Oh man, got my lights on. I like to keep things turned off, and I'll probably come back here and reset this again. But I forget which. Uh, outside um, station this is. I think the side, the back of the house is on station five and the other station is on six, but I'm not quite sure about that. We're just gonna kinda walk down here and and see. And I'm not I'm not hearing anything. Wait, oh here they come. See it kinda takes just a second for them to go on. Okay, I can hear them now. Because it's got air in the system, it's going downhill. Yeah, see? It's dripping. That's that spitting noise. And I had seen, I had seen one down here, first off, that I think is just, oh, look at the, look how, beautiful that is I think there's one down here that's just spinning because I don't think there's an end on it and I'm not sure how the end came off that was one thing I was going to check you see here look at this every once in a while I would encourage you to check your sprinkler systems because you never know when it's when you've got an issue and see this issue has been going for for a while hasn't it and that's wasting water and see here's the here's the 5 8 pipe and this is the one I think look at that see there I probably should should turn the system off and then figure out what to do with that, okay? So I'm gonna run back and turn that off and we'll check this out. Okay, I went ahead and turned this off. And it's just kinda odd about this. Now, why do you suppose that's happening right there? Well, they probably had a plant right there. And see, when I look over here, you see this? See how it's got that end on it? That's one of those plugs. And that goes down, and you can see where the 5 h tubing comes around the corner. And the other thing is, that tube shouldn't even be exposed. It should be dug down, and that should be underneath the dirt. I don't, I don't really like that, like that. But they must have, they must have planted something here. And then here, here's, here's another piece. Look at, look at that. They follow that around. There's a coupling there. And then that goes, that goes right into that pipe there as well. And I'm not quite sure if uh, I'm going to plant anything there, you know, where this area is. And 
I'll just have to decide what to do with that. But the first and foremost is this area right here. I'm wondering what to do about that. And see, I could take I could take one of my my little tips. You buy all this stuff at the store. I, I think I got this stuff at Home Depot. See how it comes? It comes in a in a tin pack, and you just you just pull one of these off, twist it, whatever. Well, lots of this different things for uh, a drip irrigation is pretty self-explanatory. But if you don't have a green thumb and you're just an average Joe like me, hey, you can you can fix these things like this. You don't have to call up your your landscaper or your your monthly uh, lawn service guy and and tell him about it. Unless, of course, he says, "Oh yeah, that's included." Anything like that, you just let me know and I'll fix. Well, that's one thing. But if he if they don't fix it, you just go to the hardware store and buy a few things. Okay, so so I've got this tip. I could put it. I could put it right in this end and or I can put it over here and I'm thinking I don't I don't really think I'm gonna plant anything right there and if I did I could always pull this out later so so uh, see I can pull this out right there oh that's why you need a pair of pliers see you pull that off of there and that's a little that's a little coupling piece there and lots of times it's hard to pull to pull this section off unless you cut this and then squeeze that see I could save that I could save this piece uh, for something later on or I can poke it back in if I don't want it put the cap on there I could take this cap here with my pliers and I just hang on to it like that and and poke it in here. See? There. That's that's it. Fixed.